Okay, here we go. Question 20. Find this, uh, the first four terms of this series here. Okay, now the idea that I'm, we're going to kind of um, put forward with this one here is you're given an equation for the, the summation of a of a, a sequence of some sort here, for, or for a series, I should say. And it simplifies down to 3n minus 1. Okay, now if we've only got one term and you add up all of the terms there, well, that means the first term, if it's all by itself, it should be the same as the very first sum. So if we plug 1 into this, okay, this is simply going to be 3 times 1 minus 1. Or the answer is 2. So the very first term in this series is going to be 2 plus. Now i got to find the second term. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to kind of run this together here, but hopefully this will make sense. The second sum, okay, if you think about it like this, uh, the second sum is going to be the, the sum of the first two terms. Okay, but we already know that the first term and the first sum are interchangeable. So that's really the same as S1 plus T2. So now ignoring this middle step here, I've got this equation set up here. This, the second sum is equal to the first sum plus T2, the second term. Which really makes sense. I mean, if, if, if we're going to go from the ninth sum, you add up the first nine terms, to the tenth sum, all you're doing is you're just adding that tenth term on. Okay, you're just including that. So what we're going to do here, to get this the second term, really, that's just going to be the second sum minus the first sum. Okay? So you think of it like this. You've got, you've got here's the first term, here's the second term. Add those together. And, oh, sorry, and we'll, we'll do this in just a second here. If I'm going to have, so the sum of these three terms, this is S3. The sum of those two, that's S2. Okay? So that's S3, that's S2. The difference between them is that third term. And that is really the pattern that we're, we're utilizing in this particular question here. So to get the second term, this is going to be the second sum. So it's going to end up being 3 times 2 minus 1, which is 5, minus 3 times 1 minus 1, okay, 2. So 5 minus 2, and the answer is 3. Uh, to get the next term of the sequence, I'm just going to follow the same pattern. I'm just going to do it a little bit quicker now. To get the third term, I will take the sum of the first three, and I will subtract the sum of the first two. Okay, and this is going to end up being 3 times 3 minus 1, minus 3 times 2 minus 1. And what do we get here? Well, we've got 9 minus 1 is 8, so that first, that third sum is 8, minus 6 minus 1 is 5, so 8 minus 5 is 3. So the next term of the sequence is 3. Okay, now we should be seeing something kind of weird happening there, but that's okay. Now the fourth term is going to be the sum of the first four terms minus the sum of the first three terms. So 3 times 4 minus 1 minus 3 times 3 minus 1. Okay, uh, 3 times 4 is 12 minus 1. Okay, that's 11. 3 times 3 is, is 9 minus 1 is 8. And so 11 minus 8, once again, is 3. And so those are the first four terms of the series here, the 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3.